Hello everyone and welcome back to another One Mission DMD video. I know it's been a really long time since I last posted on the channel, but I've been really busy with a lot of things going on the last few months. One of which includes the INBDE preparation. I figured this would be the best time for me to go over my board experience and what I used to study for it. So welcome to the ultimate INBDE guide to ace your board exam. Hello friends, my name is Deham Saud and I'm a fourth year dental student at ATSU ASDO, aiming to help aspiring dental students and together learn about all things dentistry. This is my first video as a fourth year dental student and I'm really excited for everything that we're gonna have on the channel. There's gonna be new content, new styles of vlogging, especially with the new rotations that we have in the fourth year. So definitely stay tuned for that. As always, timestamps are gonna be right over here for your convenience. Now, what is the INBDE? The INBDE is a national board exam offered from the American Dental Association that dental students have to take before graduating. This exam covers a multitude of topics from various dental disciplines. So you have to kind of go through the ongoings of dental school until at least the third year to be ready to take this exam because there's a lot of different things that are covered in here and there's no way anyone can take it before covering it all in dental school. Now, how do you sign up for this exam? Just like the DAT, you have to go to the ADA website and register to take this exam. Once you're approved, you're given the permission to book the slots that you wanna take this exam for via the Prometric website. Now, even though the NBDE part one and NBDE part two has been eradicated and thrown out, you still do have to select two days to take this exam. So even though you're paying once for this exam, you're not paying for multiple things, you do still have to register for two separate days. And those two days have to be within a five to seven day window. So you can't really stretch it out that much. I highly recommend signing up for this exam at least three months before the date you wanna take it because the dates fill up really fast and you don't wanna take it at a time where it won't be most convenient and best fit for your schedule. Now, mostly everyone in my class has already taken the INBDE. And the reason for that is because in the fourth year at ATSU ASDO, we travel to external rotations across the country. And everyone, including me, was all in the same boat saying that, hey, we're not trying to study for this exam while we're in a different city, seeing different things and you know just making the most of our rotation experience so that's why we all pretty much took it already there's just a few more left in our class that have to take it but mostly people take this exam in their fourth year of dental school so you're definitely gonna have to take it at a time that's best fit for you your schedule and your school schedule to take it now what's covered on the exam there's a lot of topics but here are the overarching ones that you really need to be ready for Oral pathology, endodontics, operative dentistry, pharmacology, prosthodontics, patient management, which has its own subdivision of various topics, periodontics, oral surgery, pediatric dentistry, orthodontics, oral radiology, head and neck anatomy, and oral medicine. Now, this is not by all means an encompassing, complete list of everything that you can see, but that's a pretty good snapshot of what you can expect. In fact, every 10th question you can expect to be either a pharmacology question, oral medicine question, oral pathology question, an ethics question, or an EBD question. So you can definitely expect any of those five subjects to pop up every 10th question or so. Now, what did I use for studying? Personally, I only used four resources. I used Mental Dental from Dr. Ryan, Dental Mastery, INBDE Bootcamp, the Mosby book for particular NBDE part two studying, and I lied, sorry, five. The fifth resource was Tufts Pharmacology. 
Now I'm gonna kinda go into how I used everything once I get into the details of the schedule that I'm gonna be sharing. Again, the link for that schedule is in the description. So the one that I've shared is approximately a two and a half month schedule. That's how much time I thought would have been best for me. That's why I did it. If you need to tinker with it, tailor it, you need to make it longer. If you wanna make it shorter, you're more than welcome to do that. Do it, that's best. Do what's best fit for your schedule. Now, the first month of my studying was dedicated heavily towards mental dental. This is by far the best resource to use to relearn everything, to learn things that you forgot, and just to make sure you have a solid foundation regarding all the material you can expect. This is pretty much synonymous to Chad videos from the DAT if you use that to study for it. It's perfect, it's well put together, it's clear, it's concise, it's all encompassing, it covers pretty much everything the board exam expects the students to know. So definitely use it, it's an absolute must. No, <laughs> there's no room for negotiation. You have to use Mental Dental. If you subscribe for Dr. Ryan's Patreon Mental Dental page, you'll be given access to all of the lecture slides and you can put them into your Notability app and jot down notes as you're watching the video. If you sign up for the $10 a month subscription, you'll be given access to all of these lecture slides and you can easily cancel your membership after the first month and you'll still have all the lectures. So shout out to Dr. Ryan. Thank you so much for all that you do for students. Everything on Mental Dental is absolutely amazing. So I just kind of divided up all the videos that Mental Dental has with each of the playlists for each subject. Go ahead and follow the schedule that I've shared or any kind of schedule that you think is best for you and just make sure to write down complete notes so you don't always have to refer to the video if you need to review something. Now the final month and a half in this study schedule is primarily focused on practice questions. What I used initially was Mastery, the Dental Mastery app, and my goal was to do approximately 100 questions. I got through about 2,200 questions and I was just burnt out. Dental Mastery is a pretty good resource to use. It covers pretty much the various topics and subjects that you can expect on the exam. But there were some poorly worded questions and answer choices that I'd have to continuously refer back to my notes for to verify what the correct answer was or verify the correct way of presenting a situation. So that it was definitely really helpful and I actually even made a document which was specific to bugs like all the microbiology and like the names of different bugs that we had to know and because that was something that I just struggled with. But eventually what it ended up becoming was a document of just random facts. So I'm going to share that for you guys. It's in the description of this video. Go ahead and check it out. There were a couple more resources that I wanted to share with you guys. This amazing comprehensive oral pathology document was made by one of my classmates at school. Her name is Natalia. She took the time to take pictures, get the terms, get the definitions, the buzzwords, everything that you possibly need to know about everything regarding oral pathology and even oral radiology definitely use this document <laughs> it wasn't a single day i wasn't studying with this document open on my computer the other document that i'm going to share is just a one-page document for ethics it's really helpful for getting some examples regarding what's maleficence what's non-maleficence what's veracity what's uh all that good stuff that you need to know so definitely these will both be in the description hopefully these can help you out as well you're more than welcome to use it for studying but yeah there came a point where i just burnt out by all the dental mastery content that i just stopped using it and by that point boot camp released amazing questions for preparing for this exam Speaking of which, I actually loved Bootcamp so much that I reached out to them and asked them if they could make a promo code for us here at the channel for people to save a little bit of money on their membership. So if you use the One Mission DMD promo code upon purchase of your Bootcamp subscription, you will be saving 10% on your INBDE study materials. So shout out to Bootcamp. Thank you so much for making this possible. Now, once I stopped using Dental Mastery, I 
focused primarily on boot camp. I would do approximately 100 to 150 questions a day. While I was doing dental mastery, I was doing approximately 40 to 50 boot camp questions a day. But since I stopped using dental mastery at one point, I just, you know, bumped up the questions for boot camp. The most important thing to know is that if you're doing questions, you want to be reviewing your mental dental lectures or even your school lectures um, regarding the material that you're missing those questions for. This is just going to allow you to really hone in on those topics that you need to put some extra attention into. Alongside that, you want to make sure you're reviewing lectures too. Not just the parts of the lectures that you're missing questions, but entire lectures. Dedicate every day for two lectures that you're going to review from Mental Dental. So it, it's tough to do that, but I promise you it's going to be a lot easier to manage as opposed to reviewing all of those lectures the week before your exam because that's virtually impossible. There's just too much material. So if you break it up, you keep revisiting lectures, it's going to really help you in the long run. One thing to note is that while I was in the month one phase of my studying, I was also using two other resources that I mentioned, one of which was the Mosby book and the other one was the Tufts Pharmacology PDF. The Mosby book, like I said, focused primarily on the NBDE part two material, which is pretty much what the entire integrated board now covers. So it was a really good summary of pretty much all the topics and subjects that you can expect. And this is pretty much synonymous to Cliff's AP bio for the DAT if he's used that to study. So it's really good to have that at a quick glance. And the other resource I said was Tufts Pharmacology. This was a resource put together from doctors at Tufts University where it covers strictly pharmacology topics ranging from conceptual questions, mechanistic questions, and mathematical calculation questions. Now, did I do all of the subjects from the Mosby book and did I do all the questions from Tufts Pharmacology? Absolutely not. I did only focus on those subjects, maybe four or five from the Mosby book that I know I needed extra time to focus on some of which included oral pathology, endodontics, oral medicine, pharmacology, stuff like that. And as far as the Tufts uh, pharm as far as the Tufts pharmacology resource, I did probably about only half of the questions. And I thought that was enough for me because there was a lot of repeat style of questions. They weren't the same questions, but they were really helpful. Also, Mental Dental has question videos after each subject definitely do those. A lot of them are repeat questions from the Mosby book resource with the questions that they have in the back of the book. And some of them are fairly representative to what you can expect on the board exam. So definitely pairing those three things in the initial exposure, sorry, the pairing those things in the preliminary exposure phase is really going to help put a solid foundation together so that you can answer any question you're thrown. Now, a key thing to remember is that the marking questions option in bootcamp is absolutely phenomenal. There's three colors, I forgot what they stand for, but green, yellow, and red. If you know the question very well, you know the material really well, mark it green. You don't really need to review those questions because there's so many questions. If there's a question that you totally do not know, you're forgetting the material, you have no idea, mark it red. If you do know the material and it's just like a stupid fluke mistake or whatever, mark it yellow. It sounds basic, but I promise you doing this is gonna save you so much time because you wanna finish majority of the questions at least a week before your test. And the reason for that is because then you can dedicate those seven days to focus only on the questions that you know you really need to focus on. So you don't wanna be wasting time on questions that you know for sure, if you know there's a bunch of other questions that you kinda of don't know that well. Review that material, go over those questions, and use the last week strictly to just use marked questions, that's it. The really cool thing about Bootcamp is there's also a daily warm-up feature. You can definitely check it out if you aren't convinced if you wanna sign up for your membership. It'll give you access to 10 randomly generated questions from their bank of questions. You get a really good feel for it. You'll see the layout, you can see how you can mark questions, mark particular answer choices out, stuff like that. It'll give you a really good feel as to what you can expect. Once you do pay for your membership, you will be able to get access to 
you will be given access to all of the dental topics and the subcategories within each of them and it'll show you your progress and as you can see there's a lot remaining in mine um, but that was because I took the exam at a time where they didn't have all of these questions so after I took my exam they put in a lot more because I promise you when I was studying for it I did every single question at least three times so I know I did them all but I'm sure they have a bunch more on there, so definitely make use of this resource, guys. There's nothing that compares. Just some tips going into this exam. You definitely don't wanna go into overdrive <laughs> the last few weeks of this exam. By this point, you've done at least 3,000 really well representative questions for the INBDE. You've seen a bunch of topics. You've seen a bunch of different subjects. You've, you know at this point what you need to focus on, which lectures you need to keep reviewing. So definitely do that. On the exam, you will be given multiple sections with breaks in between. Now you can't go to prior sections as you move along the way towards the new sections, but the really cool thing about the breaks is that it's open note, open book. You have access to pretty much anything you need. You can look at all of your notes, you can look at all of your lectures, and the reason why I recommend doing this is because you may get some repeat questions from a prior section and another section. You heard it first. And you're also given laminated sheets of paper where you're writing on, just like the DAT, same setup. Now, even though you can't go to a prior section, you still have access to the notes that you wrote on your laminated sheets of paper. So I wouldn't erase everything as a new section starts. Keep the stuff that you really think you need to remember honestly after you finish a section before you click submit just look at that sheet for a second remember oh my gosh what do i need to look up again do i need to look up this oral path thing again in my notes when i go on my break do i need to look at a pharmacology topic or whatever right just look at it give yourself five minutes because there's plenty of time on the exam and there's always time left over so use that break to make sure you're looking so use that break to make sure you're looking up things that you really need to look at because you might be given those same questions or same styles of questions again there's 500 questions on this exam you're bound to get some type of a repeat that's pretty much it if there's something else that i kind of forgot to mention in this video i'll be putting it in the comments i'll be sharing it on instagram but that's pretty much it like i said check out that schedule that i posted it's pretty easily broken down and pretty straightforward to follow we went over what the inbde is what it covers what i used to study for it and how i used it Hope this video was helpful to any of you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments or you can message me at one mission DMD on Instagram and best of luck on this exam. It's a pretty big encompassing exam, which covers a lot of topics, but you can get through it. You've done all this stuff. You've learned all this stuff in dental school and now you just have to show the board that you're ready. Best of luck and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.